Hello, this is Melissa and this is my 36 week baby by blog. I will be making a 36 week update, but this video is just for this week's baby buys. I had a friend take me out this week and um, we went to mostly just Walmart, so you should be able to get any of these items from Walmart. And um, we did go to Dillard's for some of the outfits, but all the other products were from Walmart. And um, let me just show you what we got today. Okay, we have, first I'll start off um, with some medical things. We don't have a lot of medical things as of yet, but we have the gas relief drops and the gripe water. I've been told that if your baby's crying and you have fed them, you have changed them, you have cuddled them, and nothing's working, give them some gas drops because that might be what's wrong with them. Um, over here, this is all of my diaper gear. Um, we do plan on um, doing... Um, reusable diapers but only after the first three weeks um, the first three weeks we want to you do um, throwaway diapers after we get past the really gross tar stage and uh, this is 108 diapers I got for up to 10 pounds it's white cloud it's sort of a new brand I'm not sure my mom's not really sure about this brand but we'll we'll try it and if not we'll just go ahead and start the uh, reusable diapers of course we got our huggy wipes um, five bags of them. <laughs> um, so that's 160 wipes. So hopefully that'll last us a few, a few days. <laughs> and um, also we kind of uh, got something really luxurious. I think we got the ultimate wipes warmer, so you can um, warm your wipes in here, so it's not so cold on baby's bottom. And uh, we have the cotton balls, which I've been told that. Wipes are great, but cotton balls might be a little bit more gentle. Cotton balls and water might be a bit more gentle for the first few days. And also when you're um, tending to circumcisions or the umbilical cord, cotton balls might be the nicest, um, most comfortable way to do that. And we have petroleum jelly, which I've been told is really good to help with uh, diaper rash. I've always used petroleum jelly for diaper rash. For babies and um, but you have to be careful because you want to keep the umbilical cord dry and you want to keep um, the circumcision um, you want to put be able to put petroleum jelly on the circumcision but you don't want to put the alcohol from the uh, umbilical cord anywhere near the circumcision because that will hurt so you have to be careful to keep those things apart of course we don't know if we're having a boy or girl or not so maybe we won't we won't have to deal with circumcision um, over here is our bottle gear. We plan on breastfeeding um, the first two weeks for sure. Well, no, we plan on breastfeeding for about six months at least, but we want to specifically, exclusively breastfeed without a bottle. But once we start breastfeeding um, with bottles as well through expressing, um, we have an, a, our Munchkin steam guard. So we can put our bottles in here and we can microwave this. I believe we put water in here. And you can put in the microwave and it will, um, it's just the easiest way to sterilize your bottles. I'm not sure when you no longer have to sterilize your bottles, but when you don't, when you can just put them in the dishwasher. This is a munchkin, um, it, like, it, see here, dishwasher basket is what it is. And it holds up to 14 bottles. And so I'm not sure when you don't need to sterilize anymore, you can just put them in the dishwasher. I guess these things we find out. Um, this is a really expensive, sorry, I got hiccups, expensive brand of bottles. This is Dr. Brown's Natural Flow. Um, it's a very bizarre, um, like, design, but I suppose, I think it's supposed to, it says helps spit up burping and gas. And so I think something to do with the air pressure of when a baby sucks on it, it doesn't go into the baby's tummy or something. It releases off the side, maybe. I'm not really sure. We'll have to just try it out on our baby and see if they like it. Um, also, we've got here, this is our 10-pack um, of pre-fold uh, bird's eye three-ply cloth diapers from Gerber. And the reason we want to use cloth diapers, this is for burping. These are meant to be really, really good for burping, um, the cloth diapers. Um, that's 10-pack. So that's our bottle gear. Over here we have just some bedtime stuff. Um, we got um, some fitted crib sheets, which we really need. We don't have any. We'll probably need to get a few more of those. We got a two pack of Granimal um, fitted crib sheets. 
we've got some receiving blankets and um, these are all child of mine child of mine receiving blankets child of mine uh, gowns and child of mine little hats and scratch mittens these are really nice gender neutral colors I really like the owl I like the gray I think gray is the new cream if you want to do gender neutral if you don't know the gender of your baby and you don't want like off whites and cream gray matches everything so you can buy all your stuff in gray and then later on splash some blue or pink on it um, over here is our shower stuff we've got um, again child of mine we have our little green uh, turtle shower um, uh, towel for a little place for the head to keep the head warm and little um, shower washcloths we've got the calming baby bath magic sorry baby magic calming baby bath um, lotion and uh, I guess that's bubble bath or maybe just clean and stuff I love the smell it smells really nice and clean and pretty and of course lavender is a nice way to calm your baby down and it might be a really good nighttime routine taking a nice lavender bath and we got our safety first kit. Um, these are really good for helping prevent a uh, cradle cap. If you brush your baby's hair every day, uh, it keeps that the flakes off. And then, um, of course, a lot of people suggest that you should bite your fingernails, bite the baby's fingernails. I'm a bit nervous about that, but we have the um, clippers and the nasal um Wordy thing. I don't know what that's. I don't know what that's called. But in England, I know we're not really allowed to have these. We have to get a nurse or a doctor to do it. But that basically sucks all the junk out of your baby's nose so it can breathe. Real easy to use. Kind of gross concept, but it works. Um, saves lives because they can sleep better at night. So over here we have our two outfits. Or we got for the boy. If it's a boy, we have two outfits picked out. These are our going home outfits. We got little Puma shoes. These are really sweet. It's for the little boy with tiny, tiny socks. These are so cute. Little bitty baby socks. And I don't know what this brand is. What, what is this brand called? Um, I don't know. Sorry. Maybe you can tell me what that brand is. But um, we've got matching pants and two onesies up here. I'm really cute. With a little hat. Of course, I'm partial to baby girl clothes because baby girl clothes, you can be a bit more ridiculous. I think these outfits are really ridiculous, to be fair. Um, because who would want to come home from the hospital looking like this? But they'll be good for pictures. So we have little girl socks and a little girl bow and um, a beautiful little fluffy dress. My husband picked this out. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's really, really sweet. I am totally all about um, pink girly things. I love little girly clothes. I love it's so fun walking around buying little baby girl stuff. And of course, we've got you need your hangers. These are kind of things that people I think forget, um, but people are going to give us presents, I'm sure. So we have lots of hangers, little baby hangers. So that's everything for now. I'm going to do a um, 26 week baby blog update. So you check that out. Um, thank you very much, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.